it proud. With fifty brave warriors and five women wise, we set sail for the land of the vines. The seagoer moved, foamy necked, floated forth. The woolen sail snapped in the spray. The world candle carried us into the west. O'er the whale path we set forth that day. For nine days and nine nights we never lost heart. For the fifth ship to follow were we. First Eric the Red and then three of Eric's sons. And the storm-tossed sea warrior Bjarni. He told of a land where wheat and grapes grew, a land of flat stones, Heduland. And Markland of forest, and Greenland of vines, and the sand on the broad Wunderstrand. So we did rejoice at first. It seems so far away now, those two short years, as I stand on the deck of the Nar and look back at the turf roofed house. It seems as if I can see our two years and our figures still walking in the shallow bay. And I look behind me and I know that I have left far more than I can ever say. Here it was that I bore my child. Here it was that I finally saw the new world. I, Gudrid, who had sent three husbands to Vinland, and at last came myself to this new land. Leif was the first, and Leif had told us that he would not give us Leif's Badir, but he would rent it to us. And so he gave us the directions that Bjarni Hurlifsson had first said, to come nine days across the open sea, down past the forest, down past the Wunderstrand, the white beach, to a broad, flat bay where Leif had built his budir, the first winter he had wintered over. It was that winter he brought me my first husband, Leif the Lucky, they called him, for it was my husband he had rescued from the sea. And there, in Godham, we were married. But fishermen are like to drown. And my second husband it was. Leif's brother, Torvald. And Eric's son too. <laughs> Even had they driven Eric the Red out of the home country, still his sons determined ever after to go farther and farther into the new world. And so it was that Torvald, not to be outdone, would follow Leif and Bjarne across the sea. And he too found Leif's Badir. But his men came back empty-handed. And Thorvald, my second husband, died there in Vinland. Unknown where it is he lies. And when he lay dying of a fever, they said he would prophesy that I married an Icelander. And indeed he had the gift of prophecy for that next year came from the west, from Iceland, the ship of Torfinn Karlsefni. And before a year was out, he had gone 
to Eric the Red and asked for my hand. And there we were married in the church at Kolhap. And we determined that there should be a Christian colony in the New World. And so we, who had, like Torfin, taken the new religion, would take it farther to the west. Fifty men, five women, and a cow in an open boat to cross the sea. And so we came to Leifsbedir. And many were our adventures there. And it seemed now that all I could remember was five minutes hence when I had stood in the grass. All of my things had been gathered. Late in the year it was, the ice would soon close in the bay. But still I stood in the grass and hunted and hunted, for I could not bear to lose the one thing I had brought with me, my spindle whorl. The lena for three wedding dresses had I spun, and for two graves, the shrouds. And so when my young son was born, had I spun and woven the cloth to wrap him and to swaddle him. It seemed as if all of those long winters I had done nothing but sit and spin with the smoke from the smoke hole of the turf-roofed house in my eyes. It seemed as if there was one long thread that spun me all the way back to Gothab, to Iceland, and back to Norway. And here I had dropped it in the grass. Snurri cried in my arms. And from the Nar came the cry, Good had come! We will miss the tide! And still I looked and hunted and hunted in the grass. And then the wind came and snapped my cloak open and whipped the pin away and I was left with a round ring only in my hand. Good had come! We will miss the tide! And so I took a last look at the turf-roofed house. And I stand now on the deck of the ship, snurry warm in my arms, to be born again back to Kodhab. So few we are now, with so many dreams, snapped like the pin. And I think of my search in the grass and I wonder, will anyone ever know that we were ever here? Troubled is my heart as I gaze across the frost-cold sea. Tomorrow will the whale path carry me again to my country. Who will follow? Surely they will come. Who will know us when our work is done? Here wealth is fleeting friend, is fleeting man and woman fleeting fall. The hearth is cold, the land is cold, my heart is cold to leave this hall. Who will follow? Surely they will come. Who will know us when our work is done? The memory of my kinsmen move within me even as they fade. Again I send my warrior out across the winter-woven way. Who will follow? Surely they will come. Who will know us when our work is done? My son, you are a warrior, eldest born of this new-founded land. I wonder, will the whale path carry you again to fair Vinland? Who will follow? Surely they will come. Who will know us when our work is done? I wonder, will the whale path carry me again to fair Vinland?